I'd like to welcome everyone here to today's unprecedented event. Ladies and gentlemen, good morning. My name is Wilfried de Brouwer. I'm a retired Major General of the Belgian Air Force, and I was Chief Operations in the Air Staff at the time that an exceptional UFO wave took place over Belgium. Indeed, uh, during the evening of 29 November 1989, in a small area in eastern Belgium, approximately 140 UFO sightings were reported. Hundreds of people saw a majestic triangular craft with a span of approximately 120 feet, powerful beaming spotlights moving very slowly without making any significant noise, but in several cases accelerating to very high speeds. The following days and months, many more sightings would follow. The UFO wave would last more than a year, during which a Belgian UFO organization conducted more than 650 investigations and recorded more than 400 hours of audio witness reports. On one occasion, a photograph revealed the triangular shape and four light beams of the object. I have the photograph here if you want to see more details later on. But at the left, at, at your left, you see the original photograph. At the right, you can see an overexposed photograph with, which reveals the shape of the craft. Belgium had no official focal point for reporting UFO sightings. Uh, nevertheless, in my function of chief operations, I was confronted with numerous questions about the origin and nature of these craft. In first instance, and in consultation with other NATO partners, I could confirm that no flights of stealth aircraft or any other experimental aircraft took place in the airspace of Belgium. In addition, the civil aviation authorities confirmed that no flight plans had been introduced. This implied that the reported objects or crafts committed an infraction against the existing aviation rules. The Belgian Air Force tried to identify the alleged intruders and on three occasions launched F-16 aircraft. On one occasion, two F-16 registered rapid changes in speed and altitude, which were well outside of the performance envelope of existing aircraft. Nevertheless, the pilots could not establish visual context, and the investigation revealed that specific weather conditions may have caused electromagnetic interferences and false radar returns. The technical evidence was insufficient to conclude that abnormal air activities took place during that evening. In short, the Belgian UFO wave was exceptional and the Air Force could not identify the nature, origin and intentions of the reported phenomena. Thank you very much.